what's going on folks uh this is an update to my t-mobile samsung galaxy note 3 um i was on dark stalkers version 1 now i'm on dark stalkers version 2 i'm not quite sure what was changed but the ro the phone does seem a lot faster than it was previously um i happened to run 3d mark again but it kind of didn't make sense because um, everything was basically maxed out. So here's my score right there. Uh, there is another demo that I would like to show you guys that basically is a demanding and pretty graphically intense demo. So I'm going to show that. But before I show that, I'm going to let you guys know some customization does work. Um, if you look here in my notification curtain, you'll see that I have like custom icons that actually came from Samsung Galaxy S4. So it will, if you find it on XDA in the theme and app section for the Galaxy S4 and you flash it for the Note, it does work. The only thing it doesn't have a transparent curtain in the background, but the icons and everything else work. Um, also, the transparent widget, weather widget also works, as you can see in the back there. Um, some things that don't work is like, as of right now, titanium backup, some things work and some things don't work. I guess it's coming from, you know, from coming from Android 4.2 to 4.3, it's real picky. So some apps will restore and some apps don't. Don't You can't uninstall any apps um, that came with the uh, the bloat rail because uh, it, it's you're just going to get an error message. It's going to say... Um, app package not found or whatever something like that they did come out with a tb restore fixer but it, for some reason it doesn't work for me every time i run it it actually freezes my phone so um yeah so i downloaded kt tweaker it does work but you, like i said you can't really do anything as of now because um it's not a custom kernel so we have to wait and see see if they come out with a custom kernel um, let's see what else doesn't work and work certain games do work, but, um, games like, uh, let me see if it's here, Nova three, it does work, but it doesn't show the high quality version. The one with all the effects turned on for some reason. I don't know why maybe game loft needs to fix that, but no, it does run. It just doesn't show the high quality polished version. Grand Theft Auto works. Everything else works, and it runs these games like 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 if you was running them on a PC with a, <laughs> a crazy graphic card, because it just moves all of them at like crazy frame rates. So um, now this is a demo right here, GFX Bench that I wanted to show you guys. Then this is a graphically intense be like benchmark demo that um. You know, I I guess when I ran it on my um, Samsung Galaxy S4, I kind of struggled with it a little bit, but this one is should run pretty decent. So let me just move it off the screen real quick, just in case there's some type of watermarks or anything like that. And um, we'll just show the on-screen T-Rex. On-screen T-Rex. Uh, on-screen Egypt in on screen t-rex so now let's just start okay so it's loading now and if they was to make games that look like this it would be crazy now i'm mad it doesn't have a frame rate counter but um from from the looks of it it's moving 60 frames you can't really see it through me recording this with my evo 3d but this is definitely moving 60 frames it dips here and there but for the most part it's 60 frames a second I mean this is a nice looking demo I think it actually looks better than 3D Mark demo, if you ask me. It's 
So I'm not sure if it's it's probably going to show like the frame rate and stuff at the end, but eh, that's probably going to take too long. So I should have just did one of them instead of all three. You see, like that thing is moving so fast right now. Now, if you guys want to try out this benchmark, it's called uh, GFX Benchmark. It's on the marketplace. It's free. Try it on your phone to see if you get the same results. Yeah, this is definitely 60 frames, and it's smooth. It's like, I wonder what's the refresh rate on the Galaxy Note 3 because, I mean, there's like no jitters, no screen, you know, the screen is not tearing anything. You look like those old CRTs, like where they had a real high refresh rate. Yeah, but this is definitely moving 60 frames. Yeah, you see, look, it says vertical sync limited. Because it's probably moving way over 60 frames. <clears throat> so I was having an argument with uh, someone from the PS Vita community. They stated that, you know... I mean, I will admit, Killzone Mercenary does look pretty polished. It's one of the better looking Vita games. But they stated that, you know, it wouldn't, it couldn't be made for Android. I'm like, I don't know who told you that. It's just the developers who don't take the time out to produce a high quality game like that for Android. I think this phone right here can run Killzone with no problem. I'm just trying to see if I'm going to get a score or something at the end so you guys can get some type of general idea of what this phone can do. But I think I shouldn't have picked all the demos. Okay, that was the last one. Well, I guess it, was, it wasn't moving 60 frames if it looked like it was. But anyway, I'm going to cut this short because this is getting a little too long. So anyway, that's the name of the app right there. You can check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if I find anything else out, I'll uh, definitely post my findings. Thanks for watching.